Hey everyone, so I've got another experiment to try. Um, if you followed the, the Stuffler video, you'll recall that I uh, hypothesized that I think taking the BBBE bread recipe um, and making a meatball sub out of it in a regular waffle maker should work because I didn't see anything with the weight of this recipe being special with the Stuffler. Because if you remember, the tongs that are in that Stuffler didn't even come into play. So that's my hypothesis, and that's what I'm going to test out. Um, also, as part of doing this, there's a little experiment I've never done before as well, which is normally when I make the BBBE bread, I make a full batch. Um, where right now I'm only interested in um, one, one sub roll, if you will. So I calculated some macros for how to do one, just one serving of that bread. So what I've got here is one egg white, eight grams of egg white protein powder, four grams of the keto chow uh, beef soup. And then if you don't have that, say it would be six to eight grams of, uh, of beef bone broth powder, protein powder. I got a, but because I'm using the keto chow beef soup, it's four grams. I've got a pinch of cream of tartar. I've got some Italian seasonings. And so that's what I have, the dry ingredients in, in this bowl here that I just read off. And now here's my, my one egg white. So I'm using liquid egg whites and that's 46 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the liquid egg white into my bowl here. And then I'm going to use a hand mixer to mix this. And if you recall, with the BBBE bread recipe, um, I often use a stand mixer. But because this is such a small portion, uh, I'm going to do it with the hand mixer. So let's give that a try. And I guess while I have this going, while I'm preparing this, I should start the waffle maker. Okay, so we'll... We'll let that work to get um, hot, and then I will mix this, okay? So let's see here. I'm just starting on level two right now. I don't want this obviously to splash. And the thinking here is, you know, one of the reasons I don't believe we need a stand mixer outside of the quantity of the ingredients for one, one roll is that the waffle maker is going to compress this anyway. So, you know, beating the egg whites to a stiff peak like we do making the full bread recipe to make buns or a, a loaf of bread I just don't think is needed for using the waffle maker. All right, I'm gonna increase the speed a little bit here. All right, let me finish doing this and then I'll come back and show you what I've got in a minute. See you in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I finished whipping this, beating this, I should say, and I want to show this to you. So, this is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty close to when you use a stand mixer. So, so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, so if you recall, this looks like the BBBE um, batter that we used when we did the stuffler. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the crumbled Italian meatball to this mixture. And if you recall, we're doing this differently than what we did in the oven and with the stuffler where we did one layer, then we had the meatball cut into thirds, added the meatball, and then, um, and then we um, put a top layer on it. We're here, I'm doing this like I do my carnivore waffles, where I have two beaten eggs and then four ounces of, um, 
browned ground beef that I add as a mixture like this and then I put it in the waffle maker and that comes out just spectacularly. So I'm going about this the same way. And so I think that same logic, this is, this is going to work. So there we have it. One serving of the BBE bread modified. And I'll explain that a little bit more here in a second. And then the Italian meatball, which is essentially four ounces of ground chicken with seasoning and a little egg added here. And uh, I think the waffle maker is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And once again, I'm anticipating this waffle maker behaving like the stuffler did with this recipe. But that's why we're doing this. We're testing, we're testing out that, that notion. Because like I said, I don't think for this recipe there was anything special about the stuffler. But we'll soon find out here. I want to get all of this because I want to cover this whole area. Because if you remember when we did it with the um, keto chow, there wasn't enough dough with the keto chow to spread all the way to the side. And then it flattened it. And I said to you that it was more like a flatbread. And I'm going more for what we had with the, uh, with the stuffler with this, with this recipe. So I'm trying to see if I can achieve that, which is more like a sub roll mouthfeel than a flatbread. Okay. So I've just about got this. And then I mentioned a second ago that what I'm also experimenting here uh, with is, is one, um, one serving of the BBE bread, because let's say you didn't have any made up. You don't want to have to make a full batch. You just want dinner. So if you see how fast I whipped up this batter, this is kind of showing you don't have to do that in advance or have to make an entire batch just to have one, one sub. All right, so that's in, it's cooking. And then I mentioned, and then I have the red sauce heated here for when that's done, I'm gonna test it. But, um, but a second ago I mentioned, I tweaked the recipe a little bit and I said I was gonna come back to that. So if you recall the, um, the BBBE bread recipe, it has um, three egg yolks and six egg whites. So you basically take three eggs, you separate those eggs, and then you can use um, three liquid egg whites. And that's how you get your three yolks and your six egg whites. Well, I didn't, one, the challenge was, okay, to make one, one serving of that, how do I take an egg, a whole egg, and get just a fraction of the egg yolk? So that's kind of impossible and kind of a waste to make one serving. So I said, well, just scrap it. I don't think we need the egg yolk in this recipe. So hence why I said, let's just go with the egg white and, uh, and how I came up with, with these, um, uh, these measurements. So once again, for this one serving that's cooking right now, I did one egg white, eight grams of egg white protein powder, four grams of the uh, keto chow beef uh, soup base. And once again, if you don't have that, it's okay. You can use, um, you can use a beef protein powder, but you'd want to double the number of grams. So I'd say go, go to eight grams. And then a pinch of cream of tartar. And then if you want to put seasonings in it, I used uh, Italian seasoning because I'm having an Italian meatball sub. And then I did the crumbled Italian meatball in the, in the batter. And I, I mixed the, uh, before adding the meatball to the batter, I took all of those ingredients that I just listed and, uh, and beat them with a hand mixer. And then I added the meatball and then I um, added the mixture to this um, heated um, waffle maker. So we're just letting this cook. It shouldn't take that long. 
So why don't I let this finish and then I'll come back and see what we've got. Okay, see you back in a second. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, so let's, let's see, I think this is ready to go. So there we have it and full disclosure, um, I checked this before I went back on camera and I had to use a little bit of, uh, a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of uh, strength to get it open. But once I did it, it came open and it's not sticking or anything. But I did have to kind of uh, give it a, a good little push there to get it open. And now what I'm doing is I'm just getting a spatula here to, to take this off because it seems like it's, it's sticking a little bit. Let me unplug this. And I suspect it's like the others that we've made, which is once you get it loose, it comes right up like this is doing. Yeah. Yeah. You got to just jimmy it a little bit and then it, it comes right up if you see that. Okay. So... Here's my, here's my immediate reaction, my first um, observation, which is um, this is flatter than the stuffler. So if, if you saw that video, you saw it was it was more puffy. I'm, I'm going to cut into this and, and show you. But I don't know if that's because maybe my proportions of one, one serving of the bread were off. Such that I'd get a different result if I added more batter to the uh, waffle maker. Or if that's just the nature of this, using this waffle maker such that the stuffler is um is playing a role in that it, it is thicker thicker than this so i've just cut this up and yeah this is this is not the same this is not the same result as the as the stuffler produced so i'm sure this is going to taste delicious and just like with the um using the waffle maker with the keto chow, where I said it's more of a flatbread-like. That's what I'm anticipating here. Um, so let's, let's, give it, let's give it a try. Okay, and I think you can see on the camera how this is a little more flat than, than the stuffler that I had made or even this when I made it in the oven. Yeah, like I said, it's very good, but but there's ear pockets in here, so the mouthfeel isn't quite like um, a, a traditional meatball sub. But can this be done? Is this an improvement over what I had started with, the problem I was trying to solve, which was when I would make the BBBE bread separately, or even the keto chow bread separately, um, they weren't wide enough to fit the Italian meatball on it. So I wasn't getting that mouthfeel. So I did this so that I could get the meat with inside, inside the bread. So I was getting one bite with, with all of that. And, and this, this achieves that. But I will say now after doing this all different ways, I will say that... Um, the best way to do this, the best texture, is to use the stuffler um, with the BBBE bread or uh, bake it, you know, put it in the oven, bake that in the oven. Um, yeah, that, that's the way I would say to go, to use the BBBE bread and make it either in the stuffler or in the oven. So, so there you have it. I wanted to just demonstrate all these techniques for you so you had all the information. But once again, does it work? Yes, it works. But is it as good as it could be? No, it's not. For that, I'd either have the stuffler or I'd um, make it in the oven like I showed you 
in that other uh, in the other video. Okay, so there you have it. Trying to demonstrate for you if you had, you know, a, a, you know, just a standard waffle iron, whether whether you could do this and whether you could um, portion out the BBE bread recipe and make this work. And the answer is yes, but like I said, I've done it where it was better. Um, so your choice. I just wanted to bring this info to you and, uh, and you know, perhaps this helps you when you want to whip up a quick dinner or something. Okay. So, so there you have it. Once again, hope this was helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.